MREPC, we have our charter. Our charter is very clear. We are here to promote rubber and rubber products. If there is no development in terms of the, the rubber products itself, then what are we promoting? There's a lot of value creation that we can do. For example, have we explored actually all the products that can be made out of rubber? We have been so used to looking at rubber as this sort of products, plastic as this sort of product, fiber as this sort of product, but have we actually had someone that we work with who said, look, actually rubber can be many other things. Recently, I was having a discussion with a CEO here, and during the discussion, I was just looking at a plug socket. So then I just asked him, I said, have you ever thought, why are all plugs that are plugged into the socket are made of plastic? I said, why can't it be made of rubber? Because rubber is the best insulator for electricity. There are many manufacturers in the UK who are actually manufacturing natural rubber plugs. And it's mainly for industrial use. I'm just saying if we expand our mind a bit and think outside the box, there is a possibility of many day-to-day -day uses of rubber. to create it amongst the people out there, the innovators, the inventors. It needs a lot of planning, a lot of strategizing, a lot of interaction with industries, with ministries, with global players, with global partners, smart partners. It's not going to happen by chance. We need to believe that this is a product that will remain. We've been here as MREPC for 20 years. We must believe that our role will still be there 20 years from now. This is not for the council. This is not the interest of the industry only. This is a national interest. As long as the rubber industry uh, survives, so will the nation.